Hi, this is Carlton Cullens, and welcome to the Blue Sky Strong Box. Hey, this is Carlton Cullens with the Blue Sky Strong Box here in Austin, Texas. This week I am going to try to keep it short and sweet. Uh, I want to talk about breathing and how it relates to the speed at which we actually do exercise. It doesn't really matter what exercise you do. Uh, the, it, the speed at which you do it is in the training world is what we call tempo. So basically we're going to talk about breathing and how it refers to tempo. But obviously breathing is the most important thing that we do as humans. If we don't do it, bad things happen. But obviously because it's that important to us living every day, that it also probably has a lot of carryover to all the other things that we do. And obviously our bodies were built to move. That's why we have arms and legs and all these things. And while, when we're moving, you really need to be concentrated on breathing because you will move better if you learn to breathe better. If you learn to breathe better, all the organs and everything, all the functions of your body will work better. Often when I talk about breath, it needs to be in some kind of a rhythm. I think sporadic breathing all over the place isn't really good because it doesn't complement your heartbeat. Our hearts beat on a rhythm typically, and I think when you breathe in a rhythm, it complements that well. It's kind of our primal, primal thing that our body does. So I think when you do those well, it works really well. The best way to practice that, and granted, most of us can improve in our breathing. I was a bad breather for a long time. I didn't use my diaphragm. I breathed irregularly. I breathed shallow, which caused a lot of tension in my neck, gave me headaches. My shoulders were tight. This is common for a lot of people, particularly people who live in a fast life. Uh, we sit down too much. So working on breathing is important. The best way to work on breathing is to do it on a regular basis. And why not do it when you're exercising? Because we need to be doing some kind of purposeful movement during the week. Sometimes I call it exercise. Sometimes people, that's just their job or what they do is living. But purposeful movement. Thinking about breathing while you're doing certain movements. Now, obviously I'm a personal trainer, so I'm going to you know, think about maybe exercising, like squats and push-ups. Or maybe you're walking. Or maybe you're jumping rope. Or maybe you're on a bike or something like that you can still find a rhythm pattern to breathe in to practice. So what I want you to do this week is I want you to do whatever you've been doing and I want you to concentrate on your breathing. When you're doing exercises like squats and push-ups, a great thing to do is to, tr to don't go any faster with how many repetitions you're doing. Only go as fast as you can breathe in and out comfortably. Preferably, you want to probably breathe out on the harder part of the exercise and breathe in on the easier part, but it just depends on what exercise it is. Some things like deadlifts, you want to, you know, some people hold their breath to support their spine. So there's a lot of different variations. You could probably find most of that on the internet. But just try to find a consistent rhythm of breathing pattern. Try to breathe in through your nose. When you breathe in, your, your diaphragm, your stomach basically should, should expand and take in air and then breathe out through your mouth and the oxygen should go out. So you want to have this cycle going over and over. The more you do that, the better your blood flow, the better, the better your, just the whole body is going to respond to exercise respond to movement, respond to work, respond to all the things. The more you practice that, the better you're going to get, the more it's going to become automatic. And that's the goal is for all this stuff to become more automatic. So the things that we do every day, the things we do the most have the biggest impact on our lives. That could be a bad thing, it be a good thing. So why not practice a good thing and try to make that more automatic and, uh, and create that a habit. So anyway, that's my tips for this week. If you have any questions, always write me and I will see you next time.